Hey, so I make 10 grand a month from my business, which is entirely online. And here's how you can too. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, forgive me. It's, I'm a little bit tired right now. It's actually like 6 a.m. Um, where I'm at. I'm in Bali at the moment. Case in point, I can run my business from anywhere in the world, but obviously I'm working with clients that are in the US and Canada. So <laughs> I'm awake at odd hours. So it's 6 a.m. right now. Um, just kind of got done with my work day. But I thought I'd make this video just to sort of hopefully change some beliefs, right, about the entire, you know, what, what you might be thinking about business or online business or just making money in general. Um, because, yeah, I'm making more than 10 grand a month profit um, now, and it, that puts me at like top 10% earners in Singapore, which is where I'm based out of, um, and in the world, right, in general. And I'm 23, and I've been in business for not even a year, right? Going on a year, maybe like 11 months now. So, like, I, like I joke about it, it's like, oh, how, like, how you can do this too? But it's, it's not really a joke though. Um, like, and more important than how, like, how you can do this. Like, I think the more important question is actually like, why? Like, why should you, like, why should you do this? <laughs> um, because that's like that's actually more important. And like what's actually going to drive you like the implicit in the question how did you do this like implicit in that question is that if i told you how to do it right now if i told you a to z the exact steps of how to do it that you could but the reality is that you probably wouldn't and you probably can't because you don't have like you don't have the reasons right to do it um, you don't have strong reasons to do it at least not right now right you might not have those explicit in your head Right, and, and before, even before the why, right, like, and the why is, is, is gonna be everything, honestly. Like, it's, uh, it was Nietzsche that said, he who has a why can bear almost any how, right? So like, if I gave you a strong enough why, you'd figure out the how, right? Like, I, like extreme example, like, forgive me for using this extreme example, but it helps to illustrate the point. If I put a gun to your head today, right now, and I said, you need to come up with 10 grand and you let's say you have nothing it's like you need to come up with 10 grand in 30 days like and there's a gun to your head you'd figure something out you would have to right or maybe if, if you want to pull some gen z nihilism and, oh chris no it's okay just shoot me i don't care like <laughs> then <laughs> like fine right haha <laughs> But, you know, okay, let's say, you know, like I put a gun to like the head of a, like a loved one or something. You get the point, right? Like if I did that, you would wake up every day with a quickness and with a ferocity of work ethic that you probably didn't even know you had, right? If I, if you had a strong enough reason, right? But maybe you don't. So, and, and, and like even before the why, like even if you have a strong reason, like, you, why hasn't it happened yet? Part of that is probably because you don't actually have, you don't actually believe that you can. Like you, don't, you don't actually believe that, you might not even believe that it's possible, but then I'd just say that you're, you're like, I'm sorry, but that you're just naive, right? Like, you just, you're just closing your eyes to what's going on in the world and the reality of what making money is like in the 21st century and in the age of the internet, right? So I want to believe that that's not you and that you're not naive like that, right? And so maybe you're wise enough and open-minded enough to know, okay, I know that in the age of the internet and the age of like social media, it's possible to make 10 grand a month, like to you, like income, not revenue, like profit, not revenue. And it's possible to do that. And it's possible to do it online. Um, so maybe you're open-minded enough to realize that that's possible, but in your head, you think, it's possible for Chris and maybe it's possible for, for some people. Oh, but it's not for me. Like, I, oh, it's not possible for me because of insert reason, insert excuse, right? Insert, you know, special snowflake reason why you are different and your circumstances are different and something in your circumstances permits you from doing this. Oh, but it's, okay. it's possible for this other person. They, they did it and they can do it. Oh, but it's not, not for me, right? So... Like, I, I want to start there. <laughs> I want to start there because you probably have, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, you probably have good reasons why you don't think it's possible for yourself. Like, you might have good reasons for believing that, right? Like, 
you can just look at how you've been living your life. Like, have you been living the life of a person who is making 10 grand a month? Are you living that life? No, you're probably not. Right. So like, if you're not living the life of that person and you're not conducting yourself the way that that person would, how, how could you expect yourself to make that money? Right. Like you don't, you don't achieve 10 K per month as a goal. Like you don't achieve the goal. You achieve the identity of the person who can achieve that goal. And then you get to the goal. Right? Like you achieve the identity first. So you might have really good reason to believe that who you are right now can't. You can't make 10 grand a month, right? Because you don't, you don't have that you don't have something or maybe you have too many limiting beliefs or, or whatever it may be, right? But the reality is that implicit in that statement is the belief that your identity is rigid and that you can't change and that you can't become the version of you who is making 10 grand a month, right? So you're sitting there and you think, well, look at, look at my track record, right? Like look at my track record, look at how I'm living my life. I'm partying too much or I'm playing video games and, or I'm, you know, I like I have all these addictions and you know, I, I can't, I can't focus for more than 10 seconds and I'm too busy scrolling like TikTok, and I, I, I get in this doom scroll and I don't even know how many hours I'm, I'm spending on social media and just consuming content and I watch too much Netflix and da, 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 da. you have all of these reasons, right? Which is valid because that's, that might be who you are now, right? But don't let that blind you to the fact that your identity and, and, and what you do is not rigid. Like how you conduct yourself, your patterns of behavior, your, your habits, like all of these things are malleable so you might not be the person who is capable of making ten thousand dollars a month right now okay but there is a version of you out there who is capable of doing that what does he or she look like that's something to think about right what 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 does that person look like what do they eat you know what what time do they wake up do they go to bed and wake up on time at the same time every day probably they do. Are they eating well? Are they taking care of their body? Right? Are they exercising? Are they keeping their mind sharp? Right? Are they are they doom scrolling TikTok every day? <laughs> Does that person what do they watch Netflix? Do they consume content? If they do consume content, what kind of content do they consume? Just like think about a couple of those questions. Think about that version of yourself and think about what he or she looks like. What do they do day to day? And then compare yourself to who that person is. And you'll probably find that there's a lot of mismatch. Okay. And that's, that's a huge part of why you aren't there yet. Right. So, so there's that, right. That's the first thing, which is believing that you can actually achieve it. So you have good reason to believe why you now, who you are right now, can't achieve it. Cause if you could, you would have done it already. Okay. If you were like, let me repeat that. If you were the version of yourself, who could be making 10 grand a month online, you already would be, <laughs> okay? So that's fine. So just recognize that there's this delta, there's this gap between who you are now and who you want to be becoming. And you can bridge that gap. It takes time, but you can bridge that gap, right? So remember, your identity is malleable. Don't, don't fall prey to the modern illusion of self solidification like oh i oh i am just this way i am this way therefore i can't xyz right um oh i could you know i could put more time into reading this thing but but, but it just wouldn't be me right like you need to dispense with that frame of mind because it, it evidently like it's it's not serving you right like it doesn't serve you to believe that if I don't play video games for at least, you know, two hours at the end of my work day, like I, I, I'll be too stressed. Like I need this to wind down. Like nobody's saying that you need that other than you, right? Like you, you are deciding to solidify that as your identity. And if that part of your life isn't serving you, there's no reason to, to, to cling on to that. So your identity is malleable. That's one. Okay. So that's the starting point. Now, the next thing is, okay, thanks, Chris. Okay, I believe that I can, right? Or at least I believe that there's a version of me out there who 
who can. I don't know what that was. I don't know if you could hear that, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So, okay, Chris, there is a version out there of me that can actually achieve this. And it's possible for me to become that person. It's possible for me to manifest that human being into reality. Okay, cool. Why, why should I even do that? That's the next question, right? Like why, why is it actually important for you to, to do that? Right? Like if you're watching, like at this point, I've been waffling here for 10 minutes, right? So if you're still watching this video, that there's part of you at least that sees making 10 grand a month from let's say a business that you run, that you can run from anywhere in the world, for example, there's a part of you that sees value in that. Okay, so like, think about why. Why is that valuable to you? What, what could you do with that money? Maybe it's a matter of freedom. Maybe it buys you a level of freedom that you want to have. Maybe, maybe it's not freedom, maybe it's because you want to make a, an impact somewhere. That could be with your family, right? Maybe you wanna make an impact on your family, you wanna, you wanna help to support them, right? Or maybe you have bigger plans for the world, things you wanna do, right? In Principles, which is a book by Ray Dalio, he talks about a spectrum of, um, let me get this right, making an impact on one side of the spectrum and savoring life on the other side of the spectrum. So you can think about this like, there's a spectrum of you know, what motivates you and there's savoring life. And then on the other side of the spectrum, there's making an impact. Right, so you'll fall somewhere on this spectrum. You might care more about making an impact on the world than you do about, you know, making this money to go and like, you know, uh, satiate your impulsive hedonistic pleasures, right? But yeah, so you'll fall somewhere on that spectrum. So, you know, think about that maybe for a second. There's no right or wrong, right? Um, but you will fall somewhere there and that will give you an inkling into like what your reasons are, right? Like if you want to make this money to have a lifestyle, right? So meaning you'd fall more on the, on the uh, savoring life side of the spectrum, right? You wanna have a laptop lifestyle, you wanna travel the world, right? You want to see different things, experience different cultures, learn, you know, new things, just see the world, right? Like then, like, <laughs> Don't forget that, like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, we're, we're, we're sort of in a world now where we're just conditioned to forget about all of that. Like, forget about what we want and just, you know, uh, just like slog it out somewhere, just take some job, you know, you won't have location freedom. You won't have time freedom either. Um, but hey, you know, here's 14 days a year for you to, to, to go and travel the world. <laughs> like, you know, 14 days in a year out of 365 days in a year. That's how much freedom you have. Is it worth the trade-off? I don't know. It's not to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so maybe you're on the savoring life side of things or maybe you're, you're more about, you care more about making an impact. You wanna make this money so that you can, you know, eventually roll that into something else. And you know, maybe you want to, you, you, wanna, you wanna change the world in some way in the future. Um, and this is just like a stepping stone for that. That's very possible too. Maybe you want to start with your family, you want to help them out, right? You want to retire your parents. All of these things are good reasons. They're noble reasons, right? But you, like you have to remind yourself of those reasons and they have to actually drive you, right? And they, they have to drive some kind of action. Um, how, how I've done this, at least for myself, is I, I set up an environment in my head of urgency, right? So in, 33 strategies of war robert green actually talks about this but i didn't i didn't know about it um until i read the book and i was like oh i do that <laughs> yeah um so like you, you can set up in your head an environment or sort of like an artificial um like an engineered sense of urgency in your brain you know um so if you think about all of the people that, you know, that hustle the hardest, right? A lot of the time it's because they literally need to, like they need to make rent. Like, like they need to make rent or they need to put food on the table the next day. And so they work so hard because of that urgency. Like it's a literal, like a real physical urgency, right? Whereas you might not have that. You might have food on the table the next day. 
and you might have you might know in your brain that you have food on the table every day for the next 10 years right so you can't you can't have that same drive that those people who are literally going to go hungry if they don't get their next paycheck excuse me you won't have that drive right what you can do is set up an environment in your head where you have artificial urgency so you say like look Chris, if you don't, like, if you don't figure out a way to make 10 grand a month or, or whatever it is, like, online, like, you are doomed. Like, there is no way that you're going to ever be able to create the life that you want to have and have the impact that you want to have on the world. It's never going to happen if you don't figure this out, right? And you can wake up every day with a level of, you know, if I don't do something about this now, like I'm forever just gonna be stuck. Like I don't have time to waste. I don't, right? Like that, that's the level of urgency that you, you can just create in your head. Just, just set it up such that, like think about the life that you wanna create enough. Think about that or think about the impact that you wanna have and realize that if you don't take action on that now, it's never gonna happen. And the longer you wait, like the more time you waste, the more that idea just diminishes and diminishes and diminishes and, and, and ceases to be of sufficient possibility or sufficient probability for you to pursue it. Because literally the longer you, the longer you wait, like the, like the more, like if you're watching this, you're probably pretty young right as life goes on like you take on more responsibilities and you take on more liabilities financially and and, and just in life right and you're not you're not going to go and start some business when you're 40 and you have two kids depending on your income it's just not going to happen right so like you don't have time to faff about you don't like that's the reality like it's now like you have to do it now Right? Like if you keep faffing about and living unconsciously, you're just going to end up like every other 30 plus 40 year old person who is tied down to their income and has no, no choice there. Right? And you want to afford yourself at least some choice. So having strong enough reasons, okay? This is the biggest thing. So figuring out your reasons. Um, I actually have... Funnily enough, I did create a video which um, is on my YouTube channel that talks about this, talks about how to like figure out your reasons just using like Socratic reasoning, right? So you can find that on the channel. Um, that will really help you to flesh it out because you need, you need this sense of urgency to like wake you up every day and be like, ooh, like I need to do this that like I cannot be screwing around, right? So you need that. So yeah, we've covered beliefs and we've covered reasons. And honestly, like if you have those two things down, like it doesn't like, like the how, the how sorts itself out because you will figure it out. You have to, like if you, if you really believe that you have to figure this out, like you're, you're smart, you'll figure it out. Like you'll find a way. Like the, <laughs> it's funny because the main question that people ask you know, when you make a statement like, hey, so yeah, like, oh yeah, I'm making this much. They'll be like, how, how did you do that? How are you doing it? How did you start? You know, um, how did you learn this and that? It's like, like I could tell you how I did it, but that's not gonna, <laughs> it doesn't mean that you'll be able to. Like if I, t I could tell you, I could lay everything out A to Z and you probably still wouldn't be able to do it because you'd, you'd wake up on day one and you'd be super excited and then you do all of the digging and you do all the research and you figure out that it's way harder than you expected and a bunch of resistance will appear in your brain to doing the work. And then on day two, you'll be a little bit less motivated and on day three and after a week, you'll forget the entire thing ever existed. And you would have convinced yourself that it's impossible. You'd have convinced yourself that there's some kind of special reason that you can't do it. Um, you'd have convinced yourself of all of these things, right? Because you didn't have the reasons and you didn't have the belief. So, Figure out your reasons. Understand that your identity is malleable. 
okay and that's the reality right and like don't like even this idea that that uh you know oh uh, at 25 your prefrontal cortex fully develops and you know and like you see that that like that might be true but that again that feeds into like thinking that way feeds into the idea that you can't change right but there's really there's so much of yourself that you can change so much of yourself that you can change that has a direct impact on your income right and you have to you have to understand that and believe that okay right now might not be the person who can do it what does that person look like and what is the delta between me and that person and what part of that delta can i immediately bridge what are the stupid things that i'm doing in my life that i can immediately stop like that's that's the first thing it's like how much netflix i'm watching okay like can i just cut that out yeah i can just cut that out okay what like am i playing video games yeah, like like come on like that's basic like yeah okay yeah like i know i need to cut that out okay cut it out right like just do these things go through the list one by one and Once you're living like a person who is making that much money and if you have the strong enough reasons to be making that, everything else after that sorts itself out. And I know that's like a very woo-woo, like, I know that sounds very wishy-washy and stuff, but I promise you that it's not. Like, you have to figure these things out for yourself. And there's probably some resistance manifesting in your brain right now, like, like oh that sounds like a lot of digging and like and I thought, like it's painful like it's painful to think about where i want to be and, and just how far away i am from that now and how how i'm not even close to being on that wow there's a gecko on the floor right there it's scampering around i'm mean, yeah i'm i'm sorry i got distracted but yeah the just the, the sheer pain that comes up when you're thinking about these things it's not going to be easy to get through but what's more painful going through that process of digging and, and, and seeing how you are currently inadequate and accepting that and accept and taking responsibility for that to change. What's more painful that or staying where you are now permanently and not ever achieving anything close to your potential, the potential for savoring life and living the life that you want to have and the potential for you to make an impact on this world. That sounds more painful to me. Like not ever getting close to that. Way more painful than confronting all the ways in which you are currently falling short and accepting that and taking responsibility for that and saying, I can be better. I will be better. I must be better. I have extremely strong and compelling reasons to be better. And that necessitates my action now. And I can't delay this any longer. I genuinely can't. The, like, the longer I delay it, the further and further away my dreams get. And fear kills more dreams than anything. All right. I'm probably butchering that quote. I'm not even getting it right. But what was it? Okay, well, the quote escapes me, but yeah, just I'm 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 gonna I'm probably getting to the point in the video where I'm gonna be talking in circles, so I'm gonna cut it here. Okay, um, sum up beliefs. Okay, just remember that no one is no one is telling you that it's impossible for you other than yourself. You are stopping yourself. You are not even. Like you're not even letting yourself enter the race. You're, you're about to tie your shoes and you're stopping yourself. Okay. So tie your shoes, enter the race, right? Like don't, don't stop yourself by saying like, oh yeah, well, it's possible for these people. It's not possible for me because of X, Y, Z reason. Okay. It's BS. Okay. It's BS. <laughs> so recognize that who you are now, right? There may, there may be things that are stopping you. Okay. But you can change. And I would argue that you have to change. You have to. And that's where the reasons come in, right? He who has a why can bear almost any how. Okay, so once you have the reasons and you have the belief, right, like the, the, the how and the nitty gritty and the implementation will sort itself out because it has to. You will figure it out. You have a brain on your shoulders. 
All right, you have a good one, <laughs> okay? Um, albeit one that might be a little bit sedated by just consuming a bunch of content and, and the strange modern world that we live in today, but still, okay? With all of that going on, it's possible. So, yeah, go from there. This was not meant to be a video to, to tell you, oh, here's a step-by-step -step of how I made this money, like, because you don't need that. Like, I really, like, you do not need that. Okay, like, what, what you need is someone telling you that you can actually do it. Like, as much as you, as much as some weird part of your brain wants to believe that you can't, so that you can just stay where you are and not change, because change is painful, as much as there's that part of your brain that thinks that, the reality is that you can, okay? And you just need to confront the pain. Confront the pain of changing into the person, like I said, the version of you who is making 10 grand, whatever it is that you wanna be making per month. Becoming that person, confronting the pain of the change to becoming that person, right? And then also confronting the pain of reminding yourself of the reasons why you have to do this. Like, you see how I, like, even how I said that, like, why you have to do this, not like, why you want to do this, like, you have to, like, you have to, <laughs> right? And, and that has to happen, like, now. If it doesn't happen now, when is it, it's not just going to fall in your lap. The life that you want, the, like, the dreams, it, like, it's not just going to happen to you. You have to take it. You have to create the life that you want. It's not just going to fall in your life. You have, to, it's not just going to fall in your lap. You have to create it. All right. So that's all. This video is pretty long, um, but I'm going to leave you with that. And I'm actually going to go to sleep now because it is like 630 or something and I haven't slept yet. So yeah, I'll leave you with that. And um, I believe in you. Okay. Like whoever you are watching this video, if you've made it this far into this video, you can do it. Genuinely. I believe in you. Okay, so let's go get after it.